recovering balance. So in uh, some of the earlier tutorials, we've talked about how to judge uh, whether a character is in balance or not. But uh, in this tutorial, we'll see how uh, characters tend to uh, recover balance. And a good example to, to start with is a character on a tightrope. So uh, to maintain static balance, the uh, tightrope walker has to keep her center of gravity over the wire, uh, but typically that's rather difficult to do because the, the wire is uh, quite narrow, so uh, often the tightrope walker is uh, constantly uh, shifting uh, poses in order to recover balance. Now. Uh, we uh, often see tightrope walkers uh, carrying uh, a pole, and uh, one of the things that the pole is, is useful in terms of maintaining balance is if you have a, a heavy pole, then uh, you can uh, adjust the total center of gravity by uh, shifting the pole from side to side. So here we see uh, Lori um, standing on a pipe, uh, and as she's uh, crossing one foot uh, in front of the other to walk forward, uh, she has to bring um, her leg to the uh, screen left side, and so she uh, naturally shifts the pole to the to the screen right side, uh, keeping a total center of gravity um, over the uh, over her foot. But that's not the only use of the um, of the long pole. In fact, uh, the long pole, especially when it's weighted on the ends, is useful for recovering balance because uh, using action reaction, the uh, walker can recover balance by rotating the pole into the fall. So uh, the way this works is. If the walker is out of balance and is falling, uh, they need something to uh, basically push off against to uh, shift uh, their pose. And they do that by uh, pushing the pole into the fall. That's the action. And then there's a resulting reaction, uh, which rotates their body in the, in the opposite direction. Now, um, when the tightrope walker uh, does not have a pole, then uh, they can use their arms out to the sides for the same purpose. So uh, shifting the arms allows for uh, rapid shifts of the center of gravity to uh, maintain balance. But then uh, to recover balance, uh, the walker can uh, rotate the arms, and in this case the Walker actually is uh, moving her leg as well, uh, rotate those in the direction of the fall, and then the resulting reaction uh, helps them to recover balance. Now, um, when uh, even more uh, recovery is needed, then uh, the uh, tightrope walker needs to uh, shift their uh, hips rapidly. And that can be done by throwing the whole upper body into the fall. So here in these poses, uh, we see this uh, tightrope walker. Uh, in order to recover balance, uh, he is throwing his uh, upper body and also rotating the arms in the direction of the fall. And that action allows his uh, lower body uh, to rotate in the other um, direction, in this case counterclockwise, uh, allowing the hips to um, shift back over the wire, uh, repositioning the center of gravity over the wire. Now, um, here's uh, an experiment that I did with a volunteer. So uh, I have a volunteer standing on a, on a base and um, the volunteer's heels are on a base and the toes are on a wooden block. 
and uh, the wooden block is going to be pulled out from under his uh, toes and without being told uh, how to uh, uh, do it, um, he's going to try to uh, recover his balance and not fall off of the base. So let's see how that works. Action. So, uh, uh, Rick is uh, standing on the base and Lori pulls the wooden block out from uh, under his toes and when that happens, um, instinctively, he throws his upper body into the fall and that allows his um, lower body to uh, shift um, backwards. So, and then once he uh, has uh, his center of gravity uh, over his um, over his heels, then um, he can try to uh, just maintain a, a static balance at that point. So again, it's the action of the upper body uh, thrown into the fall allows for a reaction, which creates a rotation of the lower body, uh, resulting in a shift of the center of gravity uh, back um, over the over the base uh, which in this case is just the heels. Now uh, we also uh, do the same thing in a more subtle way when uh, we stand on one leg. So uh, if you simply uh, lift up uh, one leg then you're going to be out of balance because usually your center of gravity is located uh, between your, your two feet. So if you um, simply lift one leg, then you'll fall over to that side. So um, in order to stand on one foot, you naturally want to shift your weight so the center of gravity is over that foot. And now in order to uh, execute that shift, uh, you perform a subtle uh, rotation of your upper body in the direction that you would be falling. So uh, shift your shoulders, in this case, uh, towards a screen right, and that allows your hips to shift a little bit uh, screen left, positioning your center of gravity um, over the planted foot. So this uh, only needs to be a few inches and so it's somewhat subtle but uh, if you stand up and, and try this yourself you'll you'll notice it immediately. Now finally if the uh, character has a tail then they can also <clears throat> make use of um, the tail in order to uh, recover balance. So here you see some photos from a, a experiment where they have a cat walking on a beam the beam is pulled to one side so the cat uh, would be uh, falling uh, towards screen right but the uh, cat throws its uh, tail into the fall uh, the same way we would say throw our arms or, or upper torso and that um, allows the cat to uh, keep its center of gravity um, over, the, over the beam that it's walking on. So, uh, to summarize, to recover balance, the center of gravity has to shift in order to reposition it above the base of uh, support. For small adjustments, the action of swinging the arms into the fall uh, causes a reaction that can restore balance. Uh, for um, more dramatic action, uh, throwing the upper torso in the direction of falling causes a reaction that shifts the center of gravity in the in the opposite direction, and uh, if you have a tail, uh, use that uh, as well. So that's um, a bit about recovering balance. In um, some of the next tutorials, we'll talk about uh, dynamic balance. So uh, how a moving character uh, maintains um, balance in uh, various special situations. So see you then.